Hello students, in present video, I am going to explain about first problem from depreciation topic. I am taking this question from Telangana State Telugu Academy Inter Second Year Accountancy Textbook. But this video is useful to all commerce students who want to know about depreciation. I made two videos on depreciation. In those videos, I explained the meaning of depreciation need for providing depreciation, causes of depreciation and the fixed installment method meaning, advantages and disadvantages. I am providing those video links in description box and in iCard. I suggest you to watch those videos first. Then only you can understand present video. Let us start the problem. Sri Sai and Co. purchased a machine for 250,000 rupees on 1st April 2009. So there is one firm, they purchased a fixed asset missionary on 1st April 2009. Cost of the asset is 2,50,000 rupees. Estimated life of the machine is 10 years. Machine life is certain, no? We cannot use that machine forever. So we are estimating that, we are expecting that we can use that asset for 10 years period. The scrap value at the end of its life is 50,000 rupees. Scrap value is also known as residual value, salvage value, turn-in value, net realizable value. Scrap value means what? When asset becomes useless after 10 years, we sell that asset on scrap basis. Then how much we are going to get? We estimate and we take that amount into consideration. So remember, scrap value is also an estimated value. Calculate the annual depreciation and the rate of depreciation assuming that accounts are closed on 31st March every year. He asks two questions. We should calculate annual depreciation. Annual means for one year. Every year, how much depreciation we should provide. He is asking us to calculate that amount and the rate of depreciation. Rate means percentage. Depreciation percentage also we have to calculate. And while calculating these two, we should assume that firm is following financial year. Generally, firm follows calendar year or financial year. Calendar year starts from 1st January and ends with 31st December. Financial year starts from 1st April and ends with 31st March. Show the missionary account for the first three years under fixed installment method. When you work in any organization, then missionary life is 10 years, no? Suppose exactly we used it for 10 years. Then for 10 years, you have to prepare missionary account. But as you are a student, as this question comes only for 5 marks in public examination, he is asking us to prepare missionary account for first 3 years under fixed installment method. Fixed installment method is also known as straight line method, original cost method, equal installment method. To calculate annual depreciation, there are 10 methods. In intermediate syllabus, you have first two methods, fixed installment method and diminishing balance method. So starting problems belong to fixed installment method. So in this problem, he is asking three questions to us. Annual depreciation we should calculate, rate of depreciation we should calculate and we have to prepare missionary account for three years. When they purchased a set on 1st April 2009, as they are following financial year, first year becomes 1st April 2009 to 31st March 2010. Second year is, next immediate date of this date is 1st April 2010 to 
31st March 2011. Third year, 1st April 2011 to 31st March 2012. So, up to 31st March 2012, we have to show the missionary account under fixed installment method. Let us calculate the annual depreciation first. Under fixed installment method, this is the formula to calculate annual depreciation. Annual depreciation is equal to cost minus scrap value divided by estimated life of the asset. See the question. Cost. For how much value they purchased that asset? For 2,50,000 rupees. Take that amount minus scrap value. Scrap value is given as 50,000 rupees. Take it. In some problems, he may not give scrap value. If the estimated scrap value amount is negligible, then they ignore that scrap value. In that case, in numerator, only cost you have to take. Divided by estimated life of the asset. We can use this asset for 10 years period now. Take that value in denominator. Then 2,50,000 minus 50,000 is equal to 2 lakh rupees. 2 lakh divided by 10 is equal to 20,000 rupees. So every year asset value decreases by 20,000. Annual depreciation is 20,000 rupees. Then next question is rate of depreciation. We should calculate. For rate of depreciation, the formula under fixed installment method is annual depreciation divided by cost into 100. I have seen some books where he is deducting scrap value from cost while calculating rate of depreciation. But according to standard books, taking only the cost in denominator is correct. So we follow that formula only. Annual depreciation we have calculated 20,000 divided by cost of the asset 250,000 into 100. Why we are multiplying this value with 100? Because we are computing rate of depreciation. Rate means percentage. That is why with 100 we should multiply. Twenty-five ones are twenty-five eights are. Therefore, rate of depreciation is eight percent. As we computed rate of depreciation, for answer you have to put percentage symbol. Now, third one, missionary account we have to prepare. This is mission account. Account is divided into two parts now. Left side is known as debit side and the right side is called credit side. To indicate debit side, we should write DR here and to indicate credit side, we should write CR. Debit side, we have date column, particulars column and amount column. JF number, general folio number column, you can omit, no problem. Credit side also we have the same columns. See, first transaction is on 1st April 2009, firm purchased a machine for 2,50,000. In depreciation lesson, our assumption is firm purchased that fixed asset for cash. It is not a credit purchase. So what is the journal entry? Seller's name is not given now. I am taking imaginary name X. From X, machine is coming into the firm. In return, we paid cash to X. There are two accounts. Missionary account and cash account. Both are assets. Both come under real accounts. Real account rule, debit what comes in, credit what goes out. Think from firm's point of view. Missionary is coming, debit missionary account, cash is going, credit cash account. Then final entry is missionary account data to cash account. If we purchase that asset for cash, 
we credit cash account. Assume that instead of paying cash, firm issued a check to X. In that case, as bank balance decreases, as banker becomes a giver, as per personal account rule, we should credit bank account here. Then entry becomes missionary account data to bank account. Out of these two accounts, missionary account we are preparing. Missionary is debited now. Therefore, we should post this entry on debit side of this account. Date is 1st April 2009. Debit side, we should start with the TO2 and credit side, we should start with the buy 2. What to write? Other account name. See the journal entry? Other account is bank account. Write down that. We purchased it for 2,50,000. Write down that amount. Firm is following financial year now. So first year is 1st April 2009 to 31st March 2010. On this date, firm prepares final accounts and firm computes depreciation. Firm use that asset in first year for full year because they purchased on starting date of the year for 12 months they used. When we use that asset, asset value decreases. It is called depreciation. The depreciation already we calculated. Annual depreciation is 20,000 rupees now. The depreciation we should consider in this account. What is the entry for depreciation? See, on 31st March 2010, depreciation means a loss because fixed asset value is reducing. So there are two accounts, depreciation account and a mission account. Depreciation, as it is a loss, it comes under nominal account. Mission account is a real account because it is an asset. Apply nominal account principle, debit all expenses and losses, credit all incomes and gains. As this is a loss, debit depreciation account. Real account rule, debit what comes in, credit what goes out. Missionary is not going anywhere, but missionary value is reduced by 20,000. It gives the meaning that 20,000 worth of missionary is going from the firm. Therefore, credit missionary account. Out of these two accounts, we are preparing missionary account. Missionary account is credited in journal entry. Therefore, credit said we have to post this entry. Write down the depreciation date by what to write? Other account name. Other account is depreciation account. Write down that. Place is not sufficient. So I have not written full word. But in examination, you have to write full word. By depreciation account. We calculated depreciation amount now. It is 20,000 rupees. For every problem, you need not to think the journal entries like this. Don't waste your time. Always you remember that when asset is purchased, debit side we should write to bank. You can write cash also, no problem. Our assumption is through check we purchase that asset. And when depreciation is provided, credit side we should write by depreciation account. Now we have to balance the account. Posting is completed. Next step is balancing. Which side total is more? Debit side. Therefore, debit total minus credit total becomes balance character. 250,000 minus 20,000 is equal to 230,000. Credit side total is less now, only 20,000. Therefore, credit side you have to write the difference. Two sides write on the total. First year is completed. Now, he is asking us to prepare account for three years. So, for second year also, we should continue the account. Balance carried out of first year becomes balance brought down for second year. In date column, you have to write next immediate date of this. If today's date is 31st March 10, tomorrow's date will be 
फर्स्ट एप्रिल टेन डोंट चेंज द इयर सेम इयर कंटिन्यूस टू बैलेंस ब्रॉट डाउन डोंट राइट द टोटल दिस बैलेंस कैरी डाउन एमोट वी शुड राइट ऑन डेबिट साइड टू लैक थर्टी थाउजेंड रुपीस इन सेकंड इयर आल्सो वी यूज दैट एसेट फ्रॉम फर्स्ट एप्रिल टेन टू थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च लेवल वन इयर वी यूज when we use any asset its value decreases it is called depreciation so depreciation we should provide in second year also when on the last date of second year that is on 31st march 2011 again we need not to calculate the depreciation by using the formula already we calculated depreciation 20000 rupees every year we should take that same amount Under fixed installment method, then find out the balance carried down. Debit total is more, so difference we should write on credit side. Two lakh thirty thousand rupees minus twenty thousand is equal to two lakh ten thousand. Two sides write down the totals. Second year completed. Come to third year. Next immediate date of this date is first April two thousand eleven. Two balance brought down. This balance carried down amount we should write here. Two lakh ten thousand rupees. In third year also we use that asset for full year from first April eleven to thirty first March twelve. So annual depreciation we should provide on last date of third year. By depreciation amount is twenty thousand rupees. Now write down the balance carried down. Debit total minus credit total is equal to one lakh ninety thousand rupees. Two side total sir. He asked us to prepare account for three years. One, two, three. Three years completed. But on the last date of third year, there is balance carried down in asset account. When any asset account shows balance carried down. it gives a meaning that still we are using that asset as a student only for 3 years you prepare but when you work in any organization missionary life is 10 years you are going to prepare the account for 10 years therefore for fourth year also account continues so as a student what you supposed to do is for fourth year bring the balance and close the problem next date of this date is First April two thousand twelve. Two balance brought down. Write down this carried down amount here, and don't write depreciation on credit side, because only for three years we have to prepare the account. So this is all about first problem of depreciation lesson. Hope this video is useful to you. Thank you.